Hello guys, me Jagveer Singh, back with another video of Katia V5 software. And today I will teach you how to make this particular part that you can see on left hand side of the screen, which I have taken from the internet sources. And I will show you how to use rib function in Katia. So let's get started. The very first thing as we always do, we go to file, click on new. Go to part, double click on part. So here is the screen that we opened. So now what we can do is, we choose the XY plane. As we can see the base of the part is situated there. We click on XY plane, we click on sketch. We go to sketch. Just to make sure like how the dimensions should, should look like, you click on isometric view. Right here, now you have an idea how it will look in the isometric view, which is right here. You can see on the left hand side. So whatever I'm going to make with respect to the origin of this part, it should look alike. So let's make the base, which is combination of circles, as we can see. Right here, two circles. Let's make three circles. Well, you can also use mirror function, which I will show you in a while how you can use it. But uh, for like, as I always say, there are different ways of making the same thing. So whichever way you like, you can. Right here, I'm using by tangent line. So just to show you guys, by default, it is always line feature. You can always use by tangent line and there are many other lines whichever you might require in order to use according to the feature that you are looking for. So in this case I am using by tangent line. As you can see it is pretty easy for me to just double click and click on one circle and click on the other circle and it automatically creates a tangent line passing from both the circles. So now what I need to do is, I need to dimension all these circles that I have made. So I dimension them individually. So on left hand side I can see it is 20 radius, the outer. So I need to make sure that, yes, I interpret radius and diameter correctly because it is very necessary. So it's going to be 40 in diameter. Okay, similarly 40 this side. 40 40 and the center one the center big circle and this sounds to be 42 in radius so it's 84 I'm just doing some quick mathematics in my brain okay so and it is at the distance of what we can see here so we need to see all the three views and interpret the drawing correctly in order to make a correct part that is very important. So right here I can see that the distance between two sides is 120. Either, so it means from the center axis is 60 on both the sides. So I can place 60 and similarly or I can just verify the dimension from the center to center as 120 as mentioned in the drawing. Right here. There we go. It looks good. We can get rid of these extra lines by double clicking on the trim function because as we don't need these lines anymore so I got rid of them and now you can see that it looks pretty good. Before moving forward I can also make one circle as I can see that this is hollow this is a pipe which is hollow from the center and the small diameter which is given to us is 60 dia diameter. So we can enter 60 millimeters diameter and the center circle and there we go. Double click, enter the diameter to be 60 millimeters and now when I'm going to exit out What we can do, we can also make these small holes at the same time. In order to do that, I will show you how to use mirror function in Katia. So 
so I make one small circle I can okay let me tell you how it works so I'm going to mirror this before I dimension it about this axis you choose the geometry that you want to mirror then you click the axis about which you want to mirror and there we go so now the main feature is that you can see this particular eye sign it shows you that this particular geometry is mirrored about an axis so if I give a dimension to the left hand side circle it will automatically change the right hand side circle too so right now if I say I will dimension it to be 20 which is as per our drawing so you can see it also made some changes on the right hand side itself so now I can exit the sketch just to verify how it looks in the isometric view always click under the view and just to make sure that everything looks good I can see that it looks pretty good so now we can move on and we can pad the feature that we want to we click here you can see that the padded feature in this particular case is 10 we can see in the drawing on the left hand side so we enter 10 click enter there we go there we go I think by mistake I hit on hide through my mouse sorry for that so yes this is how it should look like as our base so now I need to make this particular line you can see the dotted line it shows us the center curve so as I told you in the beginning we are going to use rib function in this particular part so let's see the conditions of rib function the rib function is right here you can see at right hand side of the screen I click on rib so they are telling me to choose a profile and a center curve so this dotted line represents the center curve along which our profile which in this case are going to be the circle circles which are of 72 in diameter and 60 in diameter which is going to propagate all over the center curve starting from the one end to the other so right now it sounds a bit complex but soon it will be pretty simple and straightforward so let's keep on going so right here now I need to make another sketch in order to create a center curve so I click on sketch I choose the plane so now I wanted to make sure that how it should look like right here it looks good so now I will choose profile start from the base itself and move to, towards the top so now I can click on the three point arc click here click anywhere and I made a line and press escape now I can dimension them according to the drawing so in the drawing it is given to be 160 with the radius of this particular arc to be 60 okay so this arc is 60 in radius and we click here and they have mentioned that from the very bottom of the base till the beginning of this arc means this whole line that we have made this should be 100 so that's okay and similarly this line should be 100 as well that's okay so it sounds good but you can see this line is still not highlighted just to make sure that these two lines should be tangent to each other and yes now they are tangent to each other and now we can see that this is a fully defined sketch so we exit out of this sketch and now we need to make the similar kind of sketch at on the other end too well because this particular part 
have the same base and the same sketch that we are going to make at this particular point so the best thing I would recommend you to do is copy sketch 1 just click on sketch 1 control C and before doing that we need we just need to have a plane on this particular point so how can we do that you click on plane you can either so by default it says offset from plane you go to parallel through point you click on this particular plane because we want the feature to be made on on the yz axis or yz plane so that's why we took the reference of yz plane and then we choose the point where we want the plane to be made so there we go so now what I can do is I can click sketch 1 which was our first sketch which was our base solid just to make sure that is it the one that we want so we can always right click and hide show so here we can see that this is the sketch that we are looking for to copy and paste it here so we can hide it again so control C and click on this particular plane and control V there we go it's pretty easy it makes a life easy too so this is how we can quickly do the replication of sketch if we have the same sketch within the same part so here now I can pad this particular feature itself I can pad this thing I need to make sure the direction is towards it not away from it because what we are specifying is it is 100 from the very base bottom till so basically they have the same concept they say 160 from the base bottom to the starting of the arc it's 160 what they are seeing from this point to this particular point and that's true if we double click on the sketch we can see that it is 160 100 plus 60 radius if you still want to make sure you can click on the point and you, you can click on this particular line is 160 we exit out we make sure that everything looks good so now it's all we are left with is this particular tube feature that I'm going to show you using the rib function and also with the fillet and small chamfers of four so let's do the main feature which is the rib in order to do that I'm, I'm going to maximize my screen I'm going to click on rib and then I'm going to choose my profile but we are missing our profile that we need as the circles to be made in order to propagate those circles all along this center curve so we need to make two circles one of 72 in diameter and the other one of 60 so it's, it's our option where we want to make we can make it either on this base or we can make it on this base too so it doesn't matter I would recommend you to choose this particular side well it's all up to you but my recommendation is just choosing this side I mean the top side of either either two parts that will help you to visualize better and make make your life easy so I'm going to make a sketch on this right here and what I'm going to do is I know that this circle is 60 I'm going to project it I click OK also I need to make another circle of 72 in diameter so I just dimension it right here and I click 72 there we go so now we are fulfilling the requirements of rib I go back to rib so let's see what they're asking for they're asking for a profile and they are asking for a center curve we have a center curve now we finally have a profile as well so we choose the profile and now we choose the center curve and there we go it looks exactly the same that what we are looking for and then we click OK there we go 
So now we are almost done. All we are left with is the fillers right here. We can see of radius 3 given right here. So right here and on the other side as well, I'm pretty sure. 3 and 3. There we go. So 3 radius and we need the chamfers as well right here you can see the chamfer beautiful chamfers of 4 times 45 degrees so when you click on chamfer by default it's 45 degrees always you click this side and also on the other side you choose it and you click 4 enter 4 and there we go so this is our final part this is how our part should look like and that's pretty much it for today thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and share with all your friends have a nice day take care